Hi everybody, Pat Healy here, creator of the Employee Attraction and Retention System for Small Business Owners. I have a question for you. Do you remember the last time you reached out to your employees? I mean, maybe buying them lunch, a little extra cash for gas, or a gift certificate to Nordstrom's, only to be met with lukewarm reception? Have you ever wondered why? I mean, let's be honest. In our quest to be the best widget maker or the best of the best at whatever, we often end up overworking, overscheduling, and basically being overwhelmed, right? I mean, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Now, most of the time, we don't even notice the emotional break that's occurring with our employees, including our most trusted team members. Well, I've got a solution for you, but first a little background. You know, in the Gallup organization's most recent survey, they're looking at employee attitudes. Lack of meaningful communication between employer and employee was the major cause of employee disengagement. Here's the problem. Most employers didn't even know they had the problem. I've got great news for you though. A simple solution actually exists, and if you follow it, I guarantee you're gonna cut your turnover rate in half if you just make this one simple change. Now, Dr. John Godman, who's a relationship researcher at the University of Washington and author of the fabulous book, The Relationship Cure, has published a scientific study showing us how, using what he calls connection bids, can keep us connected to our employees in a much more meaningful way. Now, a connection bid is a question, a gesture, a look, a touch, any single expression that says, I wanna feel connected to you. Now, a response to a bid is just that, a positive or negative answer to somebody's request for some kind of an emotional connection. Now, as research proves, these connection bids are unbelievably powerful. And let me give you an example. He found that during a typical dinner conversation, happily married people engage one another as many as 100 times every 10 minutes. They're happy. Now, couples heading towards divorce engage each other 35% less in that same 10 minute period of time. I mean, think about it. Night after night, year after year, this difference quickly adds up and has devastating long-term effects on the relationships. So Gottman found that the same results occur in the workplace. For example, when employees focus only on the work at hand, ignoring bids to join the team for lunch or talk about their weekend fun, they may find themselves disconnected from their coworkers. Now the same thing happens to employers. When you consider your role as a small business owner, how many times have you bypassed opportunities to connect or accept bids from your team? I mean, be honest. I mean, think about it. How many times have you walked in the front door and asked whomever was in earshot, hey, how was your weekend, then kept walking because you really didn't care, and then you slipped back in your office to start your daily routine? Is it any wonder there's so much lack of engagement in the office as Gallup discovered? So Gottman's research confirms that when the bidder's request for connection gets ignored, they very rarely keep trying and the damage is done. Something to think about now when it comes to our teams. I mean, let me ask you this. Do you really want to stop the turnover merry-go-round and get your life back? Taking time to notice the bids for communication from your employees and then connecting back will bring huge rewards to your team, your business, and perhaps even your sanity. So start this new habit with your team tomorrow and get ready for some amazing reconnections with your team. Hey, if you like this video, check the like button below and leave your comments. I love to hear what you're thinking. And remember, be a better boss, build a better business, but much more important, live a better life. Thank you and we'll see you on the next video.